Hello, this video is going to be looking at ammunition. When it comes to shooting your rifle, it's important that you're using the correct ammunition. If you don't know what ammunition your rifle takes, you can either look at the owner's manual, or if you don't have that, you can look right at your rifle itself. Here I have my rifle. If I look at the barrel, it will tell me what model my rifle is and also what ammunition it takes. So here I can see that it's the 1451 model and it uses 22 long rifle ammunition only. This rifle is different. If I take a look at the barrel, I can see that it's a 223 caliber. So I'm going to need ammunition that's 223. So here's a box of the 22 ammo, and here's a box of the 223 ammo. When I take a look at them individually, here's my 22, here's my 223. Even though the two cartridges look different, they really have a lot of the same properties. On the left, you can see the 223, and on the right, you can see the 22. If you look at the different parts, the top part in red is the bullet. The bullet can be made out of lead or metal, and that's the part that actually leaves the rifle and goes down range into your target. Next we have the case. The case is the metal part that holds the powder. At the bottom of the case you have the rim. That's the part that the gun is able to extract the spent case after you've shot. On the rim, you can see that we have the primer. Rifle cartridges can be defined by being a center fire or a rim fire based upon the primer that they have. In the center fire, you can see that the primer is in the center, whereas the rim fire, the primer is all around the rim. When you pull the trigger on your rifle, the firing pin hits the primer and that's what then ignites your powder. The powder then creates enough gas that creates a pressure forcing the bullet out down the barrel and out the muzzle. Here's another picture that shows the cutout of the case so you can see where the powder is held. Above it shows how much powder was in this cartridge. So these illustrations show how a cartridge works. In step one, you can see that the cartridge has been inserted into the rifle chamber. In the second step, it shows you how the firing pin is held back. When the trigger is pulled, the firing pin moves forward into the primer, crushing it and igniting it, which then ignites the gunpowder. In step four, the gunpowder ignites, creating gas pressure, which forces the bullet forward and out the barrel. Let's look back at my rifle here. It says for caliber 22 LR or long rifle only. So what's that mean? Well, caliber refers to the inside diameter of our barrel, which happens to match the diameter of our bullet, since your bullet obviously has to go down the barrel to get out. There can be different types of 22s. Here you can see my rifle says long rifle only, but this rifle says short, long, and long rifle for the 22. So here's where you need to make sure that you're following the ammunition that your gun requires. So whereas my rifle says the 22 long rifle, the second gun shown was the short, long, or long rifle. This picture shows three different cases for the short, long rifle, and magnum, all of which being 22 caliber. As you can see, the cases are very different in size, which also looks at the different amount of powder that they can have too. These are all dummies, so you can't actually shoot these, but these show you the general size of each of the ammunition for common rifles. You should always store your ammo in its original box. That way you know what ammo it is. In this case, you can see that this is the Federal Ammunition brand. 
is the 223 caliber, and the 55 grain stands for the weight, and FMJ stands for a full metal jacket. So this cartridge has a lead bullet with a thin layer of copper around it.